How to pose in photos? This is the age old question I get asked all the time. I just got back from fashion week and I had a million pictures taken and a lot of my friends who are in the industry had pictures taken and even they, we had questions on the red carpet. How do we stand? Who's standing? Where are our hands going? Can you stand in front? So if you have these questions today, I'm going to give you a couple tips and tricks that will help you look better in all of your family photos, Instagram photos, whatever it is that you need to do. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim. I'm a fashion stylist. And for those of you who do, welcome back. I'm excited to see you guys. Before I get into this video, hit that red subscribe button down below if you like this video. It is free and we will hang out. That helps me, it encourages me. I'm gonna get excited to make videos for you as I see those numbers climbing. Let's move right on. I'm just gonna preface this with a story. I just came back from Fashion Week. I have a lot of friends that are in the industry, stylists, designers, in PR, and inevitably, when we are on the carpet or at an event together, a photographer comes up and they wanna take a picture. And even my friends in the industry, everyone's like kind of squirming and they're like, oh, that's my good side, oh, that's my side. And so I know that this happens in everyday life, whether it's your Thanksgiving dinner, your Christmas dinner, family vacations, and then it kind of wrecks it for some of you because when the camera comes out and you just feel like, oh, and you pull back, you get the double chin, you're kind of freaked out. So I wanna do this video just for everyone in general, just to give you a few things that you can remember and try to hang on to. First things first, something I try to remember when I'm at an event and a photographer comes up, I'm like, okay, Kim, stand up straight. Cause some of the time I'm like standing there like this, maybe I've got a drink in my hand, maybe I'm talking to someone and I tend to like slouch my shoulders. So I've been trying to pop my shoulders back and just stand, even that helps. It just brings you up. You'd be surprised, like even a couple inches. So that's super helpful. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, know your outfit. This is very important. So I went to a big event in Toronto at Fashion Week. I got a dress from a designer, he's amazing. I'll leave a link to him below. Before the event, I actually stood in the mirror and I was like, what do I do with this dress to highlight the dress? I tried putting my arm in front because I thought maybe I needed to pull it in a little bit. Then I put my arm, I put my feet crossed to see if that looked good. Then I opened my leg and put my arm on my hip. So. If you are going out to an event, let's say it's a wedding, a breakfast, Thanksgiving, family vacation, family photos, whatever, take the time to look at yourself in the mirror and actually take a picture or ask someone to take a picture for you and know your outfit. So that particular dress required my arm, at least one of them being away from my waist or away from my body. Otherwise I just look like a big poof. So I actually put one hand on my hip. My legs did not look good crossed. So I put one leg further out. And that is what actually highlighted the dress the best. So take a look, whatever you were wearing, is it a big sweater? Do you need to roll up the sleeves? And how do you need to stand with that sweater? Do you wanna have your arm out? Does it need to be away from your body? Do you wanna have your arm down? Do you wanna cross your legs? And all of those things make a difference. So my suggestion is know your outfit and know where your limbs should be before you head out the door. Know your angles. Take the picture from lower if you wanna look taller. A lot of people really think that the, the shot always looks best from up high. I actually, my face, my body, everything about me looks better when the shot is actually taken from lower. So I find that it makes me look taller, it makes me look slimmer, the angles of my face look better. When it's taken from above, somehow my like nose spreads out and I like get this really weird look. I don't know, it's not my thing. You could just try this, practice. I don't know, practice with your kid at home, practice with your friends, but if you are someone that takes a lot of photos, try taking the photo from lower. Double chin issues. True story, you don't even have to have a double chin to have a double chin in a photo. It happens to me and I'm like this big. So something I often do is I'll actually lean into the photo. So you wanna have your face just a little bit closer to the camera, then you do like pull back. Everyone, as soon as someone whips out a phone or it's a photographer, everyone's like, Ugh. They want to pull back, that's like the natural reflex. So you got to think for a minute, just pause and be like, okay, I'm just going to lean in. Like it's like someone's telling you a secret. Like it's, you, it's something that you want to hear. Even that will help a little bit. And then you can either, whatever is better for your face, you can bring your chin up or you can bring your chin down. There's your tip for double chin elimination. Don't let your face fall. 
Okay, so the camera phones come out and you're now not only like pulling back like, oh geez, but then everyone around you is getting organized on their best sides and then as they're doing it, you kind of just, and so if you do that or you're trying to give a serious look, sometimes if I'm being shot for something and I'm trying to be serious, if I don't actually put a tiny bit of a smile in, it just like my whole face falls. It's like I have jowls and I don't have jowls. So try to just, if you are doing a serious photo or you want it to be like romantic or sexy and just don't let everything fall. Tiny, tiny little smirk. Just bring up the corner of your mouth will help a ton. The next one I have for you is second to last, so hang in there because I'm gonna give you a few tips on moving your body. But the last one, the duck face. Listen, I know it's like, it's epic. Everyone does it. I've done it to be funny. It's not funny. It's like, it doesn't look funny. I don't care if you're 20 or you're 60. Try not to do it. So something that I've actually started doing is more just like, more like a pursing of your lips. So let's say you're in a group photo with your best friends, it's a birthday breakfast, and you don't wanna be like, you know, like you do, cause it's funny, but then I would just be like, I give kind of like my lips are just a little tighter, like I'm holding a secret, I'm having fun, I'm talking to the camera, and you just wanna like relax and have fun with it. And you know, if you wanna like duck lip photo for your own like photo album, awesome, power to you. But the change over from the duck lip is just a small like pursing of the lips, like you've got a secret, really cute. My last and final tip is a few of the actual body poses I use all the time. And again, you need to know your outfit. So my number one favorite, if you look at any of my Instagram photos, especially if I'm with other people, um, I love to put my hand on my hip and I cross my legs. And that one I really like because it actually pulls my shirt, especially if my shirt's baggy, it pulls it away from my body. So you can actually see where my body ends and my arm begins. So that's number one, one of my faves. Another thing I do is I actually put one arm across the other and I will stand there. I will lean on one leg and put the other leg out and I tilt my head a little bit. And then sometimes I bring it up and then I bring my chin down and then I bring my chin up and I've got like a million poses. But the key pose is the arm across the arm. It's a good one, I like it. Um, something else, my third pose is I put my jean, my hands in my pockets. If I have pants and I'll put my weight on one leg, the back leg, and then I'll put my front leg forward. It's actually a really strong power pose. So if you are in a photo alone and you put your weight on the back leg, Remember, you're standing up, we're using all the tips. You're standing up and one leg is slightly ahead. It actually is really elongating. Somehow my legs look a mile long. They are long, but I'm only 5'4", and so I end up looking like really tall in this like elongated line, and it's just a great pose. So there are three poses that you can use, and another one, if you are not feeling your body and you are with a group of friends or your ladies, something I sometimes do for a few of my best friends that just don't like being in photos, I actually stand in front of them in the group photo. So I actually cut off half of their body. So that's something if you're not like loving what you have on or loving your body right now, just ask one of your friends, just can you just stand like right here in front of me and they'll just cut off half and they kind of lean in and put their arm around you and you just have half a body and you look amazing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed being here with you. Those are my top tips for you. Leave me a comment down below if you have a favorite pose or something that you do that everyone else can do because they love, I know everyone reads the comments and they talk back and forth. So give your tips and tricks down below and remember to hit the red subscribe button and I will see you next Friday.